Well, it stopped recording. I guess 10 minutes is the limit. I should really make this shorter. All right. So, anyways, you're gonna want to place uh, more, more, uh, maybe make it bigger. So, what I'm gonna do really is actually I'm gonna go ahead and place um, one wall is just gonna be my plans, and one wall is gonna be where I, I build stuff. So, right now I'm gonna go ahead and place my plans because that's the first thing you need to do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and create my um, little plans section. So um, for my construction here, I'll put here in the corner. Uh, put a, This is how I like to build the plans. You really can do it any way you want. I just think it looks cool this way. So what I'm doing here is if I open this, I open up my plans. So uh, I'm going to put the script right on that. So now, since I built where I'm going to store my plans, I then equip the bone. That's when you want to equip it. Right click where you want to store it. So it's going to be right here on this. There we go. So now that is my plans. So another thing you might want to consider doing is obviously there's no way to know that that one is the construction yard. So I'm going to go ahead and make a wonderful sign really quick. And actually I probably should have a couple of these on me. And I am going to name it. So underneath I'm going to say construction yard plans construction yard plans there you go all right so there we go so now we know that this one is the construction yard plans and when I right click on it it's going to activate the construction yard plans so what I want to do is before I click on that it's pretty important to build the sections first just so that you have it all ready to go um, so it, it does walk you through it uh, but since I'm doing this video it's probably simpler just to go ahead and show you guys um, how each section should look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build the five sections so um, I'm, left to right is probably the best way to do it so I'm going to go ahead and build each section so one two three four five so there's five different sections actually I'm kind of wondering where I want to build it now I think it might be cooler down the middle. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So now we have the different... You know what? I am going to build it down the middle. I'm oh, making this video much longer than it should be. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this, remove this really quick. And I'm going to build the, the sections down the center of this um, place. So we're going to have like one section two sections, three sections, oh, one, two, three, four, five, so five different sections. And actually, I want to make it, I'm making it a little different than I, than I did uh, previously because you always find better ways to do things. So and obviously you can build it any way you want. This is just simply just my preference. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to create my um, my different sections. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put levers on top of these um, to say like, okay, you know, this this will activate them. So the lever. Oh, shit! I don't like how that lever ended up that way. Ah, okay, uh, what's going on here? There you go. All right, so those are my five different sections. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically mark which what section is what. So to do that, you want to equip some item frames and some items for each section. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them. And the order does matter, so I would be very particular on how you put these up here so that you can remember how they work. Okay, so... Um, go ahead and uh, and mark each each item frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my um, demolished item frame here, and then I'm going to do the four that you usually use. So I'm going to do it a little different. So there we go, all the different ones. So this will be my demolish script for demolishing things. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Um, then this one's going to be my breaking ground. This is going to be my ledger. This is going to be my powers, and this is going to be my activate.
There you go. So you see how it takes one of each. But basically, you kind of want to use these um, examples because these are actually going to be the items that you use for doing some of these actions. So it's just good to always keep those items handy. All right, so now that we have our construction yard set up, we're ready to activate these plans. Uh, so go ahead and right click on the plans to activate them. Um, and then this will activate a script which will allow you to start placing stuff. Um, and actually one of the things that it's really important to do is while we're, you're watching this, you're going to want to really pay attention to the, um, the, the commands I write down before you click on this. So that way you can have them all pre-written down before you click on this because you only have five minutes to complete putting all the scripts in. So I would strongly suggest like watch this video, see all the scripts I write out, copy them into some like notepad so that you can just copy and paste them in as soon as you right click on this. So you go ahead and watch my video and you'll see all the different um, scripts that you can do. So I'm just pulling them up right now um, so I can have them ready for you guys. All right, and this will take just a moment. This is also located on the Minecraft um, Google Docs um, under D D, uh, command list in Minecraft. It's called deed commands and then you'll see construction yard and then you'll see each one. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to right click on this and we can start uh, working on this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and copy the first one. All right, right click. Ah, you unravel plans and begin to build your construction yard. Okay, so now it's going to start going through the stuff. See, now you have been granted the ability to build construction yard. You have five minutes to place all your scripts into the appropriate sections. Okay, so now it's going to tell me the first section. It, it does take, gives you a lot of time, so I'm pretty sure we'll all be okay. So, place your demolish script. Note, this one activates now and will not require you to copy and paste code. Hint, identify this location with TNT in an item frame. Okay, now, see, now it's saying now right click with a blocker want. So now I want to go ahead and specify my, right there, boom. So that was my demolish script, my TNT one. Okay, now it's going to tell me to do the next one. Well, the next one, it's actually specifically going to have to type it in. So it's see how it's giving me a really long time before it tells me the text? It's because I want to make sure people don't you know, have to run off. So give it, give it the times for the seconds to appear, and then it's going to basically tell me to go ahead and place the breaking ground. I think it's a good old, like, whole minute it gives you between the demolish script and telling you to place a, the breaking ground script. You remember you only have to do this once. Once you have this set up, you're good to go. Um, this is the hardest one by far to set up. So, and maybe the script broke or maybe it's just taking a lot longer than I think it should. Oh, while well, that's loading, up oh, there it goes. To place these next three scripts, check Google Drive document command list for the commands, or ask Nate. Once you type the command and hit enter, you will then type right-click with a bone on each section that requires a script. We will briefly describe each section in one minute. So now you have one minute before they before they describe each section. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get ahead of it, and I'm going to copy and paste um, the first script because I went place your breaking ground script. So I am going to go ahead and paste that. So that is the command that you will need for placing your breaking ground script. So click it, press enter. Now right click on your breaking ground. Boom, nice and easy. So that is the one for that. So just remember you can pause this video if you need to see those. The next one I'm getting ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it from Google, Google Earth, or Google Earth, Google Documents. Now it's saying place a ledger. This is the ledger script. Nice and easy. Copy and paste that. Type it in. However you want to do it. Let's enter. Place it. Okay. Nice and easy. Now I'm going to go and grab the other one. Okay. Power script. There we go. This is the script for the powers. Nice and easy. Copy and paste it or type it in. Press enter then right click with your bone on where you want to put the trigger. Okay. Then the last one, and I'm going to get ahead of this one. This one's the activate script. So go ahead and paste it in. Once you're ready, you see this is the script. You press enter. 
and activate script. Right click. And there it goes.